Hello and welcome to our new lesson. Today we are going to learn adding end wall columns and define the doors. Let's get started. As you know, we must first create or open a model. Let's open a model. File menu, open project. I will open portal frame project. I click open button. Our model is loaded. To add the end columns, we need to click Model tab. I click it. Then we need to push Wind Column command. I click the Wind Column command. Let's rotate the model for a clear view. In this menu, first we must clear that which face we want to add end columns. There. Select roof truss is 0 because we don't have any another truss and select y coordinate is 0 or 18,000 mm. I select 0. Now we need to define the sheeting. Sheeting type not exist means there is no wall girts on the walls. So I selected sandwich panel. You can also select the another sheetings as your desire. Sheeting change sandwich panel. If another types is available, the list will be shown us. Then you can define the cross section here. If you push this button, there are also many types of sections available in the program. You can select as your desire. I close here. Then you need to select the node. These nodes are defined by the purlins. For example, I push these coordinates and also these coordinates and the program will highlight the points. Let's change this. Now I select the other coordinates. Then selecting again the sheeting and selecting the same coordinates for the right order. Apply Change button makes to modify our model. I click it. Our wind columns and wall grids are ready. Now let's see how we can make an opening for doors. To do this, you need to click wind column command again. Then you should click the door exit tick. I click it. Remember our Y coordinate is 0 again. I click it. The program will make automatically open a door opening. The door opening height is default and it's 5 meters. Let's see our section. I click after statical analysis button and cost estimation button. Then select the cross sections. This is our first cross sections. And this is the intermediate cross section also is available. And a side section is also available in the program. You can of course modify the wind columns coordinates in the same menu. See you next lesson.